Over 240,000 women will be diagnosed with breast cancer this year. About 15 to 20 percent of these breast cancers will be triple negative breast cancer. Triple negative breast cancer occurs most often in young women and women of African American descent. Triple negative breast cancer is a subtype of breast cancer that's characterized by not having certain proteins that we look for, specifically the estrogen receptor or ER, the progesterone receptor or PR, and a protein called HER2. And those are all important because we have drugs that target them, which means that we can use chemotherapy to treat it, but we don't have any other targeted therapies at this point. Scientists are trying very hard to discover what triple negative breast cancer actually is, what drives its growth, what's important about it uh, in terms of making it a dangerous cancer for women. These cancers sometimes will grow at a very rapid pace. And because they preferentially occur in younger women, many of these younger women are not already getting breast screening. So their cancers are typically found by physical examination at a, at a larger size uh, than other cancers. These cancers also are at greater risk for spreading outside the breast, and if they do so and are not effectively treated with early adjuvant chemotherapy, they can recur rapidly and can threaten the life of the patient. Because these breast cancers recur typically at an earlier point in time, this has a significant impact in terms of morbidity and mortality for women who have triple negative breast cancers. In terms of who gets triple negative breast cancer and who's most affected, I think that the one thing that people have to keep in mind is that it can affect any woman. Um, that said, there are some groups of women who seem to be more susceptible to triple negative breast cancer. Triple negative breast cancer is somewhat more common in younger than in older women. There are data that would suggest that it's more common in women of African ancestry, uh, particularly African American women. Um, and finally, triple negative breast cancer is something that occurs in women who have what are called BRCA1 mutations. Nancy Blagazena is the honorary founder of the Triple Negative Breast Cancer Foundation. Nancy was young, vibrant, and beautiful when her triple negative breast cancer was diagnosed at the age of 35. She was a wife, a mother, a daughter, a sister, and a wonderful friend to many. It was this strong bond of friendship that led to the creation of the Triple Negative Breast Cancer Foundation just a few months before Nancy passed away. The Triple Negative Breast Cancer Foundation's mission is to support research into the causes, diagnosis, and the treatment of this type of breast cancer and to provide programs and services to the Triple Negative Breast Cancer community. Since our founding in 2006, we have had a tremendous response from the medical community through our annual Triple Negative Breast Cancer Symposium and our co-funding of a multi-million dollar, multi-institution research grant, we have already had an impact on the research agenda. In addition, we collaborate with other organizations to create programs and resources for women and their families who are struggling with a triple negative diagnosis and treatment. The foundation has experienced incredible growth since its inception. We now have a presence throughout the U.S. and even internationally. Our website is the destination for information and resources on triple negative breast cancer, and we have over 3,000 people visiting our online forums to communicate and receive support from each other. And we have hope. For any woman who's been diagnosed with triple negative breast cancer, I always tell them, do not fear. We have to be hopeful. We know that many women are surviving triple negative breast cancer, but the challenge is we cannot tell who is going to survive and who is not. And that's why it's really important the work that the Triple Negative Foundation is doing to support research, to bring in new drugs, to bring hope for all women who are diagnosed with triple negative breast cancer. It is so important for groups like the Triple Negative Breast Cancer Foundation to raise funds and provide those funds um, to investigators doing work in triple negative breast cancer. There are lots of organizations that ask for your money, ask for your time, ask for your energy, devoted to cancer and indeed even to breast cancer. But only the Triple Negative Breast Cancer Foundation focuses on this very aggressive form of breast cancer. Only this foundation puts its time, energy, and efforts to treating this very dangerous disease. And because of this, only the Triple Negative Breast Cancer Foundation could bring the energy and passion that will allow us to treat and eventually cure this disease. Between 20 and 30,000 women will be diagnosed with triple negative breast cancer this year. Triple negative breast cancer does not discriminate. 
Our hope for the future is that every woman of any race or walk of life will be able to have effective treatments and supportive resources available if she has triple negative breast cancer. The Triple Negative Breast Cancer Foundation is the only organization completely dedicated to helping people with triple negative breast cancer. With your help, we are making a difference and saving lives.